G'day and welcome back to another episode of Adventure Cookups on Every Road Adventures. I'm Nathan and we're going to cook up Dogs in a Blanket. So what are Dogs in Blankets? Well, no doubt, if you haven't seen already, my recipe on cooking a camp oven lamb roast. Well, this is what to do with the leftovers. Many different things you can do, chuck them in salads, sandwiches. But this is something a little bit different. Not healthy, but as my daughter says, it's a sometimes meal. What you need is your leftover roast. Basically what we're doing is cooking up a batter mix, mixing up the batter mix, and then covering our meat in it, and cooking it up in the fire pan. Let's have a look. So where did this recipe come from? It come from this old cookbook of by Jack and Reg Absalom, out back cooking in the camp oven. I've got no idea where you're gonna find it now, but when you get hold of it, there's some really cool recipes of campfire cooking. Okay, so to make this batter, we're gonna make it a beer batter. We want about two cups of self-raising flour. That'll do. A pinch of salt. Make a little well in the middle. One egg. And some beer. If you don't want to use beer, you could use milk. We're going to use a beer. And if you don't use it all, you can always finish it. We'll start with that. Then what we do, once we've got our ingredients, just mix it up until we have a nice, battered consistency. I get the feeling I'm not going to have too much for you left. Alright, that looks about done. Before we batter up our meat, let me know what you'd like to see cooked up. Or have you got a really cool recipe that you use when you're out camping and can be cooked over the campfire or on the trails? Let me know, send us a recipe in and we'll have a go at cooking it up. We've now got our, our batter. Simply just take our pieces of meat Dip it in. There is absolutely nothing fancy about this. So once we've batted up our meat, we're just going to take our frying pan, chuck some oil in there, and we're just going to shallow fry them over the coals of the campfire. So to know if the oil's hot enough to cook in, just get some water. Did you hear that sizzle? That means that your oil is definitely hot enough. Okay, now we know our oil is hot enough. Let's take our battered meat. And place in our hot oil.
So then all we need to do is just cook, cook them until the batter is all nice and golden brown. Like so. Once that's cooked, we'll just take them off. Place them on a bit of paper towel and allow them to drain. While we do that, I'm going to cook up the rest of the batch. And here we have it. A dog's in blanket. I like to finish it off. It's a nice little snack. Chuck a bit of uh, tomato sauce on there and go for it. You'd like some, wouldn't you?